Good morning. Uh, my name is King, and uh, uh, my partner name is Coco. And then we are from Cal State LA. We are from uh, Asian American student class. Okay. We want to uh, do an interview with you. What is your name? My name is Gianni. I'm a museum guide here at Pell. This is one of the museums they have in. Uh, so I know a little bit about it to help you like a little overview of the, of the Chinese American. Thank you. So uh, today I think we have four questions. The mission of Chinese Museum is to allow the visitors to have deeper understanding and appreciation for diversity in America. Which part uh, of the museum do you believe contribute the most to this mission? Um, I actually think the main part of the museum here, uh, the timeline actually right behind you as well. Um, kind of give you an overview of just from when the Chinese arrived in the United States up until uh, modern times. We include a lot of information that a lot of the history textbooks tend to leave out a little bit. Just particularly the discrimination, the dark part of the history, a lot of the adversity they faced when they came here. And we include examples of how, it, most notably, the uh, Chinese came to build a railroad, which as everyone knows, right? Um, but from the official promotion of opening the railroad, for example, they didn't have any of the Chinese workers in the pictures. So we have an example here of everyone, like all the Americans that helped build the railroad as well, but the exclusion of the Chinese. Even though they had contributed a lot, the timeline kind of gives a, a very impactful view of, of the Chinese arrival here and their life here, which I think helps promote the diversity because it gives you a, a different perspective of how, uh, just how hard life was when they got here. Um, just what they had to put up with and what they overcame. Um, so it kind of gives an appreciation as well of, of what they actually contributed to uh, the United States specifically as well, which uh, I think helps kind of uh, bring that out a little more. So I would, I would say the timeline itself is actually probably the most impactful thing as far as. Our second question is uh, do the stories in this museum resonate to your personal experience? Or if they do, would you like to share like, maybe one of them with us? Personally, uh, as far as immigration goes, probably just because I'm Mexican, so my, uh, my grandparents immigrated here too. So a lot of this kind of overlaps with uh, just like the general like political like tension for modern day. Even though it's different uh, different people, the the general kind of adversity they face and the challenges they had to uh, had to face in establishing the community here is very similar at RE2. Latinos are, are doing nowadays. I'm like second generation, so I don't have any like personal experience with that kind of thing. But um, I know my grandparents when they came here had to deal with some of that stuff as well. Um, I think my mom growing up as well. Um, I've been fortunate so far that I haven't had any of those problems. But um, it you do kind of get a feel for it just being around the people in the community who are experiencing. So yeah, like the the, the Mexican influence will be um, at least on my part help me feel a little more uh, connected in a way to the immigration experience uh, that they have here. Are there cultures other than Chinese Americans uh, in this museum? If so, um, what are they and how um, they interact with the Chinese Americans culture history? I would actually say it's pretty much all Chinese uh, history, yeah. Since this building is actually uh, the last remaining building of the original Chinatown, everything here is kind of geared toward um, just the Chinese community specifically, how they lived in the original Chinatown, and then also the establishment of the current Chinatown that's just over Caesar Chavez Avenue as well. The extent is probably just how they fit in with the other cultures in Los Angeles, specifically the Japanese, the other uh, Mexicans are here, the other Europeans that came by. Um, they all kind of did business, so uh, the Chinese owned business and services. They weren't just for the Chinese people, they were those races that were coming in as well, those people that were coming in for things they needed. I would say that kind of tingling um, is, is touched on a little bit here, um, but for the most part, I'd say the museum is really focuses just on the Chinese American experience. The last question is, uh, are there uh, information or story you'd like to uh, add to share with us? I will say, I've actually met Subham Cheng, she comes in here sometimes. This is actually her box. Um, so when she actually immigrated here to the United States, like this is the stuff that her sister had packed up to send her with. It still exists in two days. Really? Really? That thing. Oh, really? Yeah, I was wondering about that stuff too. Just hearing her talk a little bit kind of brings everything a little uh, closer. You have someone who actually lived through that, what it was kind of like. So I actually really like that a lot, just being able to meet someone who actually was part of this immigration experience and who not only uh, could tell us about it, but actually show us a little bit as well about essentially what they were leaving behind and what they brought with them and how they started their life here. Thank you very much. Thank you for your cooperation. No problem. Thank you.